Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here. Welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Tales of Zestiria. And once again, this is a break episode in between what's going on in the story. We are doing some of the DLC skits, so we are now up to Edna's cooking swag. If you missed any, um, the above ones were on the previous episode. So let's get started. What's a terrine, anyway? Huh? You're eating it without knowing what it is? Well, yeah. You don't need to know how to make it or what's in it just to put it in your mouth. <laughs> Do you know? Of course. Terrine is a dish that you make by... Take your salmon and fillet it into thirds, apply herbs and vinegar, then marinate for no less than 30 minutes. Oh, well, well. Miss Edna's a well-versed lady. Even advanced cooking is no problem for you, huh? After this, toss it together with well-beaten slimes and add crushed, smoke-dried leeches on top. Put it oh. on the container and hang it under the eaves for three days and three nights. Wait, what? Slimes? As in the gooey hellion things? Those are in this? To draw out the flavor, secretly put in a couple melon gels and... Saray, don't take anything she says at face value, remember? Yeah, Edna, knock it off. Some of us are still eating. We're eating? I... I think I'm done. Incidentally, the correct answer. Terrine is a dish made by assembling the ingredients together and baking them in a container called a terrine. <laughs> well, I can't cook, so. <laughs> well, I can cook, just not very well. I don't know how to do many things. Um, I'd like to learn more. That's something I do want to try and do. Today, you guys get a special treat, a perfect 100-point Drago stew. I've assembled the ingredients. Follow my instructions exactly. Got it? <laughs> Nothing like a stew to bring out the dictator in someone. I think the transition comes easier for her. You, stop chit-chatting and focus yourself. You'll disrupt our delicate teamwork. First, the vegetables. I've boiled them beforehand. Start with the harder ones, then add the softer ones after that. Teamwork? It's just a stew. What's the big deal? If she's parboiled the veggies already, she really must be aiming for the big 100. That's odd. I said no talking, and now you're talking. You must want to lose your eating privileges. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Bring the water to a boil, and get ready to toss in the leafy greens once it starts bubbling. Look, it's boiling already. This is it, now! Throw the meat in at the same time! Go, go! Uh, okay, that was sudden. It's almost time. Prepare yourselves, everybody. This is really tense Here, cooking with Edna. Take out the lid. Pick out the vegetables first. This is the key to perfect culinary arrangement. You're even gonna tell us how to put it on our plate? Hold on, Miglio. This is delicious. delicious. Of course it is. I directed the procedure, remember? Aren't you gonna have some too, Edna? Nope. I'm just here to issue the instructions. I'm not about to eat anything with that as the secret ingredient. Hmm? Did you say something? No. Anyway, I'm heading back to uh -huh. see you. What? What? Right. We'll finish the rest. What's yeah. the secret ingredient? I have no idea it would turn out this good. I think I could eat this forever. I guess when Edna says a perfect 100, she's not lying. Yeah. Huh? What's this bone? <laughs> oh, I wonder what it was. Well, if it tastes nice, it tastes nice. Sweet, sweet days. Making it for the both of you takes longer. You know that. None for me. You're awfully brave for Amiibo. I'm so hungry I could die. <laughs> to hurry! Fine, fine. Here, try this. Huh? That's it? Mm -hmm. This won't fill my stomach a bit. Thank, Thank you. you. More, More please. please. For crying out loud. Have you ever heard of savoring your food? Less talky talk, more worky work. If you don't hurry it up, there's no telling what gentle Zavid might do. Yeah, Mikleo, come on! Yeah, come on! Gah! If you whiners are so hungry, make it yourselves! It's not like I'm your personal... Ah! <laughs> there is no greater beauty than true friendship. <laughs> your snacks always come out... Perfect, don't they, Dezel? Yeah, come to think of it, 
I've never seen him make a mistake. Do you have any advice for us? Is there some kind of trick? Nothing too special. I just sense the currents of the wind and act accordingly. Reading the wind? To make sweets. If you know how to read the wind, it will tell you everything. The colors, shape, location, anything. That is basically the neatest thing ever. But is it something I could learn too? You're not a seraph, Rose, so it might be tough. Aw, humans don't cut it? That sucks. Oh, wait! What if I armatize? Would that make me able to read the wind? Hmm, not sure. I suppose there's a chance. Good enough! Luca! Luca and Yerlin! Hey, no fair! Huh? Don't use your powers for that, you brat! Nyeh, 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 nyeh. Saray got in trouble! <laughs> that goes for you, too! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I love Rose. Hmm. Huh? What's wrong, Alicia? Oh, just while we ate, I noticed the woman at the next table giving us a funny look, and it got me thinking. What do you think normal humans see when seraphim eat in front of them? Oh, right. Most people can't see them, so... I guess it would look like, uh... Like the food on the table floated up and vanished? Weird. When I first visited Alicia, it never registered to me as odd. I've eaten in public on several occasions before, but nobody around me seemed to notice or care. Even if they notice, I think they tell themselves they just imagined it. <laughs> Crazy. That would make sense, otherwise you'd think no you'd go in mad, wouldn't you? While we were eating. But that doesn't make it okay to sample other people's food, Lila. What? I don't sample! When you interact with humans, it's important to share the same sensations they do. So purely for this reason... You sample their food. <laughs> Can't quite look, Dazzle. We found an unusual stag beetle. Later, I'm in the middle of something. Doesn't look like you're doing anything except frowning at me. Quiet. I'm trying to sense her on the wind currents. Sense who? Rose. She's in the sauna. You mean you're. Peeping on her? No, I'm protecting her. You should know by now just how many people out there have an axe to grind with her. On top of that, her moves are unpredictable. It's the sacred duty of a seraph to keep a vessel like her safe. I... I see. Is that... Should that convince us? <laughs> Forget it. I don't care what you all think of me. God, this sauna blows thick chunks. How's a girl supposed to relax with these icy drafts blowing over her? Dazzle, you're a wind seraph. Do something about it. Do something? Like, like what? I'll leave that up to you. G got it. Huh? You don't think she knows already? Not much gets past her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Seraphim use a lot of the same proverbs as humans. They just interpret them differently. Really? So like, Pendrago wasn't built in a day means... That one's a reminder. It felt like a day to most Seraphim, but the humans claim it was decades or longer. How about a watch pot never boils? That comes from a water Seraph who barge into kitchens and keep the humans cooking pots from heating up. Hilarious. What about don't look a gift horse in the mouth? It means horses are ugly, especially their mouths. That <laughs> seems subjective. <laughs> Oh my god, these are awesome, these skits. The way that Saray instinctively trusts people speaks well for him, but it's not good to be too trusting. <laughs> I agree. So you think someone ought to tell him all the uncomfortable and unpleasant truths of the adult world, huh? No problemo. Zafit is on the case. That's <laughs> not what I said. Ah, oh, come on. You realize it won't be all rainbows and moonbeams if he carried that same pure heart into adulthood, don't you? Well, that's why we're here, right? To watch over Saray and keep him on the path of virtue. Huh. You're not his best childhood friend for nothing, I see. But what'll Saray do if you stray from the path of virtue? Like that would ever happen. If nothing else, Saray would never allow it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just saying the truth. This is how you treat me? 
Exploration is boring you, isn't it? Don't worry, I got your back. I'm with you to the end. I notice you didn't answer the question. Ha <laughs> ha knock it off! Come on, do it! What on earth? I asked Miklio to show me his forehead and he got all flustered! Why would I even do that? And why here? Why now? Why would you even resist? Must mean it's a real good one. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Dezel, you know, I've never seen your forehead either. What, I, what does that have to do with anything? Show me! Show me! <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> I think Rose's marbles may be thoroughly misplaced at this point. Well, I, for one, am entertained. How about you, Saray? You gonna step in? Uh, maybe we've done enough exploring for now. Stay out of it, Saray. She might want to see your forehead as well. Saray, look. The land below has some of the same plants that grow in Elysia. You're right. Gramps' blessing surrounds and protects Elysia, but I guess the two lands are still connected. Yeah. Maybe plant life from the land below has gotten carried by the wind all the way to Elysia. But seeds aren't the only thing the wind carries, boys. Uh-oh. What are we in for now? Nothing good, I'd imagine. Now don't be like that. This is a highly relevant topic for youths on the cusp of manhood. The wind oh, God. can bring many beguiling pleasures your way. A letter, a melody, even the heady perfume of love. So if anything like that ever crops up, Old Zavita's here to be your guide. <laughs> it's true that sometimes things like that come up, but you'd kind of be the last person we'd ever tell about it. What? But I'm your greatest ally, your most tireless accomplice. You just want an excuse to pry into our affairs. <laughs> oh. Shut up for once! I said silent, you fool. What's the matter now? Edna's mumbling to herself. It's really annoying. She ain't talking to herself. She's talking to me! Dazzle, you're so mean. How dare you make a girl cry like that? It goes against the laws of you don't deserve to call yourself- Girls are delicate creep. I've, I've seen this one. I help with what? <laughs> it would be just lovely if you all- is that a double one then? Let's just see. There, that should do it. I never thought I'd see the day, but here we are. The council's on its way to inspect Lastenbell and Marland. The final stage of the peace process. An end to war between Highland and Rollins. Hmm. If our days of conflict are truly past, I may no longer need this armor. Perhaps it is time I began acting more like a lady. Hmm. <laughs> Why, hello. Please, come in and make yourself at home. Like that, maybe? <sighs> I'll be right out! Just one moment! <sighs> Saray and the others, open the door. Now it's our job to step through it. All right. Here we go. The inspection team is scheduled to arrive at 2 o'clock. Please arrange for one last sweep to make sure we haven't missed anything. Sweet. Okay, guys, I know this has ended up being a short episode, but I think that was the last skit.
Yep, it was. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. And on the next episode, we will then be continuing on with the storyline of the game. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share, of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy, guys.